Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tea Tuesday. I truly appreciate your company today. Tea Tuesday is an open collaboration. It's hosted by my sweet friends Patty over at Life with Patty and Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things. Before I share uh, what I have today, uh, I am drinking my favorite hot drink called Pero. And I put creamer in it, and I also put a couple of pumps of the skinny syrup, and that one was the pumpkin caramel scone. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. And I am drinking it in my new mug while well, I shared this with you last week. Uh, I actually said that it said something different. It actually says Busy B. I don't even know what I said last week, but don't ever pay attention to what I read. <laughs> It's usually wrong. So it's a bit too hot for me to drink right now. So I'm going to set it aside. I'll sip on it in a little bit. What I want to share with you today is I received a beautiful card from my sweet friend, Ida Bustamante. Now, Ida has been a dear friend uh, probably since the beginning of my channel. She has been a sweet friend, supportive friend, and I really do appreciate her. She sent me a beautiful card. Um, and here are the stickers she put on the back. And she did put some stickers on the front, a cute sunflower, pumpkin, and a turkey. So cute. And then this is the card. I love it because it's metallic, really beautiful copper metallic on the front. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Thank you, Ida, for thinking of me. I really do appreciate it. And I really do appreciate our friendship. You have been such a, a sweet, supportive friend from the beginning. So thank you so much. All right, the other thing I want to share with you are some projects that I've been working on. So I've been mentioning that uh, my Christmas tree is going to be filled with polar bears and the colors are going to be blue and white. Well, I made some ornaments. I bought these wood pieces from uh, Michael's, oh gosh, maybe about a year ago. And they already came uh, with the twine on there and... Uh, what I did is I took some uh, polar bear stickers that several of you have sent me, and this is what I did. So I started out with this uh, wood piece, and what I did is I distressed the background with purple and blue. Then I added the glitter, which was just kind of a clear glitter, and then I added the polar bear and then these snowflakes. And that's it. And I think that one came out cute. I made five of these. So there's one. Here is the other one. And then here are these two that kind of look similar. So cute. And then here is the fifth one. So I think those are going to look really, really cute on my tree. Um, I am going to have Jack just spray some polyurethane over the top of them just to protect them so the glitter doesn't fall out. Not that I think it will, but just to protect the whole front of it. They will last a little longer that way. So that's one of my projects. The other project, I made some big old shakers. Now I made one for fall where I uh, did the pumpkin and the, I, I uh, painted the tree and all of that. I shared that with you several weeks ago. Uh, this one uh, kind of was uh, the same design. Uh, my sweet friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more sent me these big guitar stickers and they happen to fit in this frame. So I started out with the frame that I got from Dollar Tree and I scraped the uh, lettering off with a razor blade and you know cleaned off the glass really good. Then uh, I have this eight by eight canvas that I did, um, actually what I did is I got some photo paper, cut it down to eight by eight, the same size as the canvas. And then I did distress ink on them. And I did my technique that I love doing. So I get distress ink. And what I did is I got four colors. I got green, purple, yellow, and pink. And what I do is I smush the distress ink on my glass mat and then spritz it with water. And then I put the photo paper on it multiple times and it comes out really, really cool. So that's the background. And then I glued it onto the 8x8 canvas. 
So then I'll show you what I did and it'll be a little bit easier for, for me to explain. So there's the background, the eight, the eight by eight photo paper glued onto the eight by eight canvas. Then uh, right in here, I have some old music paper that I just kind of rough, you know, tore it a little. And then I distressed it with uh, green distress ink. And then here's the guitar that Gail sent me. So I think it's really cool. And then my other sweet friend, uh, Michelle, sent me these um, felt letters. And I just put you rock. Added these glass beads. And so they move. And that's what I made. And I made three of them. So there's one here. And they're all the, pretty much the same. Oh, and then I added these little stickers right in here. You can see those. So there's another one here. And then here is my third one. Again, pretty much the same. I have, and this is like that, I don't know if you guys remember that uh, a game where it was a little plastic thing and they had beads inside or little things and you moved it around to try to get it into the spaces. That's what this seems like because some of the beads will get stuck in the letters like that one did in the K and it, it does move out of there. You just have to kind of shake it up and I don't know, that, <laughs> that, that reminded me of that little game that you know I used to mess around with when I was a kid. Oh well. Uh, so there are my three shakers that I did. These are gifts. And I thought they came out really, really well. Uh, and then to glue the canvas onto the frame, I just use Fabri-Tac glue. This right here. My favorite, favorite glue for journal making, card making, shaker making. Ah, it's my favorite glue. Anyway, uh, that is what I have to share with you today. My ornaments, my shakers, and my beautiful card from Ida. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.